Hello there, and welcome back to Mass Effect Andromeda. If you like what I'm doing, go ahead and hit like. If you want to see other games, hit subscribe. You know, we just uh, saved the Moshi from the cat last time. Uh, right now we're getting ready to bring her back to Aya, but before we do that, I want to take a look. I want to take a nice, have a nice chat with her. See what's up with all these vaults and stuff. Maybe we could be friends. Excuse me, guys. Yeah, let's look at the data pad. You got this. You don't need an old man a few hundred years your junior to tell you you're ready for this. I'll do it anyway, because I know it's true. You keep your rider safe and I'll do the same with mine. Harry. Just need to rest up a bit while I recover my strength. Okay, never mind. Seems fair. Alright, let's head out to Aya. Managed to save the Moshai. I only wish we could have saved more. Vold Arba is steady. Let's go. Yes, I do wish to disembark. Stars and skies light our way. Stars and skies light our way. She knows how to play to a crowd. <laughs> She's the Moshai. Welcome home. I never thought I'd see it again. Without the Resistance and the Pathfinder, I wouldn't be here. This was a group effort. We made a good team. We freed more than just the Moshai. And the Pathfinder killed a Ket leader. We have a lot to celebrate. I promised to lead the Pathfinder to Aya's vault. Time is a factor. The sooner I learn what's special about that place, the faster I can fix Eos. Then get on with it. I'll prepare the vault for your arrival. A shuttle will bring you to me when it's ready. Thank you, Moshai. We've been alone against the Ket for too long. You've proven it doesn't have to be that way. It's time we discussed an alliance between our people. 
That's a great idea. We're happy to make room for you on the Nexus. We'll provide an embassy here as well. Our city is open to you. Join us. Well done, Jol. Report for reassignment. I need to stay with the Pathfinder. He's welcome on my ship. Jol has already become a valued member of my crew. Of course he has. I see the benefit. Request granted. I'll need to file a mission report. Don't leave Aya without me. Alright. Alright. There's nothing wrong with taking a quick look around. team of artists from each of our homeworld, Aya, Vold, and Havaro, work together to create this mural. It depicts the centuries of hardship we endured as a result of the scourge, but also the reunion of our people to build a strong, resilient society. Blue palm trees. Okay. I can dig it. Translation from Slash. We rose from nothing to touch the stars, made homes on many worlds. Do not mourn what the cat stole from us, celebrate what still remains. All things reach their end and make way for new life to fill the void. The worlds and people who lose will return in time. Family grows forever. We dedicate this garden to those who are not here with us, but who will one day return. This place is for them. Fast travel station, okay. Goods for the home, tools for the field, supplies for all your needs, Pathfinder. It would be wise to speak with me before engaging in trade. Okay. I never thought I'd see the Mershai again, least of all thanks to you. Welcome to the marketplace. I am Arbiter Renarv. I enforce correct contact between merchants and customers, resolving any disputes. As the first outsider to enter the city, you are ignorant of our laws. We should change that. Okay, what's the trade laws? Where I'm from, the biggest trade law is don't cheat. Is it different here? I suspect we define cheating differently. What is unfair changes based on perspective. I'm ready to know more. I don't want to cause any trouble. How do I learn your laws? I'll transmit a full readout. Familiarize yourself with the contents. Personal responsibility is a core foundation of our society. We expect it from everyone. Understood. Please visit my colleagues in the Governor's Best office and the Resistance protect. headquarters. They'll teach you about our culture and what it means to walk freely among us. Your understanding is critical. It would be unfortunate if you accidentally violated our laws. Okay. Take advantage of a rare surplus. Your credits are as good as anyone else's. Don't start any trouble and we're fine. I'll behave. I'll be the poster child for no trouble. Whatever that means, it'll do. Alright, let's see what you've got, lady. No min ooh, minerals. 
titanium. Ooh, I need that cadmium. Definitely need the fluorite. You got beryllium? Ooh, they got beryllium! Yes. Alright. Give me some of that copper. Pathfinder. Doing okay? What up, Vit? Who knew saving a respected member of Angaran society would open so many doors? I've been talking to some of their traders, seeing if we can work things out. Alright, be cautious. We have to be careful not to trade away too much of what the Nexus needs. Trust me, I'm running everything by cash. I'm not selling to aliens. Alright, that's fine, jeez. Materials. They let you pass the gates. Huh. I'll honor that trust. It's an honor, and I understand that. I'll be respectful. Alright. Everyone deserves a chance to prove themselves. Vesteran? I was there when you landed. Watched you get escorted through the city. Probably looked funny, huh? Bet that was a sight. You were an unexpected outsider. Not really a laughing matter. Is fruit? I've never seen fruit like this before. What are these? Paripo. Sweet with a little bite. Sometimes if I'm lucky, I have a few Kiloa or Elmok. Is fruit scarce here? In this form, yes. Very expensive. If you buy a paripo from me, it means you have something to celebrate. It's a luxury, Browse meant to be shared with friends and family. I'll get moving. Well, okay. Not all of them still don't trust me. That's fine. I'm okay with that. Citizens Forum. Exultation is just another word for how to kill us. And if you're wrong, if we've been killing for them without realizing it? I saw a cat up close when they attacked. It was nothing like our people. They want to confuse you. The Ket weaponize their victims to make you hesitate. And when the Ket begin to exalt your people? 
What will you do then? Thank you for that. Insight, Pathfinder. The issue facing us is complex. Come, my friends. Deliberate with me. What's going on over here? Oh man, this one's getting toasted. Ooh. The tether ton. What's in here? Waterfalls around here. What's going on in here? Repository. Must be a museum. This is a remnant exhibit. Though we don't know much about the remnant. Or its creators. We have determined the remnant were present in Helios long before our people. Really? That was only 600 years ago. The remnant proposed purpose appears to be the same as the planetary vaults to transform a world into a thriving, beautiful paradise. Before the arrival of the Pathfinder Rider in Revolution 826, Modern attempts to interact with the Remnant had been unsuccessful, but we've been able to coexist with them peacefully here on Aya. Oh, PB, Rider, what's up? They've got amazing Remtech research going on here. You know, the more I interact with the Angara, the more I feel for them. Especially with what we know about exaltation, I can't imagine. It's maddening. Believe me, I'm pissed off on their behalf. You nailed it. That's exactly how I feel. We need to make things right. Hello, Pathfinder. Hey. the subject of a detailed scan by an Angara standing nearby. Maybe I should introduce myself. Hello there. I'm working. Wow, you're kind of rude. You scan Aya's first alien visitor without permission, then blow me off? Come on. Curiosity doesn't imply a desire to interact. Noted. What's your interest in me? You're an alien on my homeworld. Why wouldn't I be interested? You could have asked. Fine. Will you submit to a full spectrum analysis of your biology? What do you hope to find? Are you looking for something specific? We share many external similarities. I want to learn if that holds true internally. Go right ahead. I can't fault you for being curious. Scan away. I didn't think you'd comply. I'm full of surprises. That you are. When we face extinction, family is our final comfort. Do you understand that? Ingar Revere family. I've spent long enough around your people to understand what family means to you. You only see the surface. Family is everything. Not only the one we have now, but the ones that follow us. What will your family look like in five generations? Ten? How many of you will there be? You're worried there'll be more of us than you. 
I have 23 grandchildren. I want to know what their grandchildren will inherit. Goodbye, Pathfinder. Okay. What up, Joe? Uh, well, what do you think? I could get used to this. We take turns living here. You can see why. You seem happy. You're relaxed here. There's a sparkle in your eye. I am. Thank you. It's nice of you to notice. You're interesting. I like to notice. Wait, what? That was not my intention. Just trying to be a friend. Alright, let's see what's going on down here. Today's pattern our laws regarding war. Learn them. Ooh, sounds like they're having fun over here. I expect you to take good care of Jal out there. I will. I'm sure he'll return the favor. Don't worry about him. You saved the Moshai. That earned his loyalty. Still wrapping my head around what you found at the Ket facility. That... exultation. It's awful. It must be hard for you, realizing what the Ket soldiers are. Doesn't change what we have to do. It's war. What do you need? What do you know about the Ket? You've been fighting Ket a long time. Any advice? Your war's different from ours. It's still a war, and we're not prepared for it. Wouldn't matter if you were. The Ket aren't a conventional enemy. Okay, uh, where'd they come from? Any idea where they came from? A home world somewhere? Each of our colonies heard a different story. I doubt any were true. They came from far away. That's all we know. Ever tried following a Ket ship to see where it goes? Of course we did. Wherever home is, they don't visit. What about the tactics? Do the Ket have a favorite strategy? Something we can exploit? They switch tactics constantly. Almost capricious about it. Makes them unpredictable. They must have some weakness. They're vulnerable to brute force. That's enough. Really, that's not really a strategy, though, is it? All right, what are their motives? The Ket aren't mindless monsters. They must care about something. Slaves, resources, power. Same as any conqueror. You didn't see the exaltation process. They treat it like religion. They convert us against our will. That's not religion. It's genocide. Every culture has its purpose. Theirs is to take whatever they want. All right, tell me about yourself, buddy. What's your story, Ephra? You're not getting my personnel file. I'd just like to know who I'm working with. You want to know what it's like being me? I wake up every morning to fight a war. I send people to kill and die. If I'm lucky, there are more dead cat than resistance when I go to sleep. That's a hell of a burden. Enough personal discussion. Jesus Christ. General, general depression. All right, tell me about the resistance. There's no official Angaran military, just the resistance. 
Lost our fleets and armies decades ago. Cared mostly. The rest fell to... internal strife. We kept fighting, but our civilians were disorganized. Poorly supplied. Leaderless. Decades of aimless defiance got us nowhere. I had to make the resistance real. Guy yeah, seems secure here. I've seen armed people in uniform. They're not resistance? Aya police. Purely ornamental. Gives us the appearance of civilization. You don't think they're necessary? If things go bad, the resistance will handle it. That's up to the governor, isn't it? <laughs> hmm. Alright, uh, have you had any victories? What success have you had against the cat? Enemy casualties are up 600% in three years. But that's just a number. Every time we destroy a facility, take out a warship, we give our people hope. And you're not fighting alone anymore. We'll see. What do you mean? Like, don't they just build it another one? How did you wind up in charge? Nothing to lose. My family was rounded up into a Ket slave camp. Last contact I had with any of them was ten years ago. They could still be alive. Didn't figure you for an optimist. I'm full of surprises. How is the Resistance organized? Loosely. We operate in cells. Independent strike teams have better odds. If the Ket capture a cell, it doesn't compromise the rest. Tell me about your governor. What do you think of your governor? She governs Aya, not the Resistance. Way to avoid the question. Is there history between you? I can always count on Paran to offer a spirited argument. You respect her? She holds her own. Not many do. Yeah, what do you think of us? I hope the initiative is making a good impression. The initiative? <laughs> Sounds so unthreatening. Like a city planner meeting. That's kind of what it's meant to be. City planners don't walk around in battle armor with rifles on their shoulder. Depends on the city. My point is, we traveled through dark space to build something here. That's what invaders always say. At first. We're not invaders. Of course. I'll let you get back to it. Good. Oh, okay there. Rude dude. Okay. Yeah, let's check this place out. Never go wrong, but going right. Cora. I wish I could join in down there. I could use a workout. Getting lots of stares. Reminds me of being on Thessia for a sorry commando training. We're the aliens. <laughs> any advice? Got any tips on navigating an alien society? Be yourself, but your best self. Listen and be polite about scanning your food. Though that's good advice in general. Jeffra's letting me record a few of these training sessions. Just a few. But the Angara have some smart tactics. Now I get how they've held out against the Ket. Put more energy into it! Quartermaster. Pathfinder, Ephra cleared you to purchase weapons over my objections. I'm only here to help. Anything I buy will be used to fight Cat. You fight our enemy, but you're not one of us. Remember that. Jeez.
Oh, so they got mods. Yeah, okay, we're gonna sell this. Sell that. And sell that. Because I don't like those legs at all. Alright, let's get out of here. Alright, let's check this place out. No entering the med center until you're clean. How do I decontaminate? Ion console. Touch the start pad, it does the rest. Alright. Sam, is this thing safe? Yes. The slight ringing in your ears is nothing to worry about. Very reassuring. Uh, is it the med bay? You're the human everyone's buzzing about. If you're looking for treatment, I'm afraid I don't know enough about human physiology to be much help. Unless you can make right. use of the ion beds. What are ion beds? Is there something special about the beds here? They're filled with a negatively charged ion gel. The gel works with our natural electricity to speed recovery. Think it'd work on other species? Without bioelectricity, it would be of small benefit. But it might reduce pain. Bioelectricity. So you guys are electrically charged? Our bodies produce a store of electricity that we can dispel in a surge of energy. We use it for short range communication, healing, even combat. I admit, I was surprised to learn your kind doesn't have that ability. Some of us are biotic. It's similar. Kinda. I would be interested to study biotics. If Jal takes a hit on my watch, my doctor needs to know how to treat him. Can you point me to resources she can use to learn your methods? So you're considering all possibilities. Jal is in good hands. I have medical journals on treating Angaran injuries and preventing complications. You're welcome to upload them to your ship's doctor for study. Thanks. I'll get moving. Bishari. Okay, I guess that's helpful. Which way did I come? Going this way. So I guess we're going the other way. No, no, no. We came in. Okay. Governor's office. Arbiter Renav told me to expect you. I prepared a data pad detailing our laws. Read it fully. going on this way. Oh, nothing. Governor's office, huh? Yep. 
I'm just gonna be rude. The Moshai will be waiting for you at the vault. While I'm here, maybe we can talk? Of course. I owe you that. When I first escorted you through our city, I wasn't sure it was the right thing, but you proved I was wrong to doubt. No, more than that, you didn't have to save the captives from exultation. I wonder if you realize what that meant to us. We're here to help. We're in this together. The Initiative wants to help. I want to believe it. You're so different from the Ket. What can I do for you? Uh, let me talk to you about your culture. I have a few questions about your culture. I'm happy to answer them. All right, let's start here, in Aya. Aya seems important to the Angara. Aya is paradise. This world is a gift. We created the Vassal so everyone could enjoy this place, if only for a short time. The Vassal? The time of change. Aya's resources are too limited for our entire population to live here. We each earn the privilege of spending a few years on Aya. When our time is up, we leave to make room for someone new. The cycle repeats throughout our lives. Will you have to leave? Someday. For now, Aya needs me. So many guys got different accents. I've noticed that you, Ephra, and Jal all speak with different accents. When the Scourge first struck, there were many Angaran worlds. They were separated for centuries. We developed divergent cultures and dialects. Ephra was born on Vold, and Jal is from Havarl. What about you? The Ket left my homeworld in ruins. Those who survived were forced to flee. We found a refuge on Aya. My family helped settle this world. Mm -hmm. Tell me about your cities. Don't take this the wrong way, but this isn't your only city, right? Not at all. Vold and Havarl both have several large population centers. Aya has numerous residential areas similar to this. Are these places open for visitors? In time, perhaps. What do you think about Ephra? I'm hoping you can get me on Ephra's good side. If I knew how to do that, my job would be much simpler. Sometimes it seems like you two don't get along at all. And other times... He's a brilliant tactician and inspiring leader. We just disagree on what's best for our people. He believes secrecy and isolation keep us safe. What do you believe? We can't defeat the Cat alone. And neither can your initiative. That's true. What do you think of the Moshai? Your people revere the Moshai. What did she do to earn that? After the Scourge, our civilization was in ruins. Those who led the rebuilding were thinkers, experts, and inventors. The Moshai is the greatest scientific mind of our generation. She led us to a new age of technological innovation. When the Ket attacked, she studied their technology, learned their tactics. You owe your survival to her. We owe her everything, and we'll do anything to protect her. Tell me about yourself. So, what do you do for fun around here? The Tavitan is a popular spot for recreational activity. Right, but what do you do? Can't work all the time. Productivity is the best form of relaxation. It's also a great way to get stressed out. You sound like my brothers. All ten of them. Ten? And eight sisters. They're not allowed to bother me at work. <laughs> uh, tell me about your family. Ten brothers and eight sisters. You have a big family. I've always thought of it as average. How many siblings do you have? Just one. My sister, Sarah. What happened to the others? Our parents only had two children. Underachievers. That sounds... relaxing. <laughs> when my family gets together, the noise is like standing next to our largest waterfall. 
My mother says I became governor, so people would have to listen to me. Is she right? Always. So how oh, is being governor? What's it like being responsible for a whole planet? I suspect it's like being the Pathfinder. Some days it's a burden. Most of the time, I know I'm where I should be. How did you become governor? Do your people elect leaders by popular vote? If by vote, you mean argue loudly until one candidate remains? Then yes. I got here because I was willing to endure and fight for the obligations that come with my office. <laughs> how, do your, how do your relationships work? Is there time in your busy schedule to meet someone special? Everyone is special to me, in their own way. <laughs> Not what I meant. Oh, no. That isn't a priority right now. Someday, maybe. And tell me about the Resistance. I sense tension between your government and the Resistance. Who's actually in charge? Ephra likes giving orders, right until the actual work of running a city starts. The Resistance is good at protecting us from the Ket, but our people need more. I've learned to indulge Ephra's need for control, just often enough to maintain my own. Thanks right, for your time. talking to you. Ishare, Pathfinder. I'm still sneakers on tool. Let's go look at this vault. Be a shame to go through all that stuff and, just, and not go. Let's ride. I haven't brought anyone here in over 20 years. There's always been an active display for Aya, but we could never affect it. Let's see what we can do. Sam? Yes, this is new. Is it similar to the vault on Eos? Tell me, what are you seeing? It's very similar. I think what we need to figure out is what's different. Tell me, what do you see? The vaults. They're a network, as you discovered. However... They're not connected to each other, but to this place. This image was on a relic the Archon showed me. He called it Meridian. And it looks like Aya's vault is the only one that's fully connected to it. And it's terraforming, doing what it was meant to do. The vault on Eos is also present, but changed. Our interfacing with it has affected its connection. What do you think, Professor? I think that Meridian is the control center for all the vaults. This is amazing. Thank you. This is unbelievable. If we can get to Meridian, maybe we can turn everything on from there. 
make Helios live. Wait, Ryder. The Archon knows where it is. He's already been there. What? Where? Meridian? Of course. That's why he tortured me. He thought I could help him use it. Because he can't. Meridian is my people's best chance for survival. We have to take it from him. Agreed. Such power in the hands of such evil could mean the end of your people. And mine. I'll fight for everyone. No one is safe as long as he's on this hunt. I'm going to shut it down, for all our sakes. Resistance might have intel on the whereabouts of Archon's ship. Great. I'll talk to Ephra and secure his full cooperation. Meet me there. Gotta find a fast travel node. Maybe that's it right over there. There we go. I deserve to be told. You had no right to keep it secret from me. It's an ongoing investigation. I meant no disrespect. Did Jal know? Of course not. Neither did the human. I could have kept Sam to myself, you know. This is different. Not your business. It is now. We need to find the Ket command ship. Tell him the truth about my capture. Moshai, please. It may be our only route to the Archon. One of my men helped the Ket take her. A resistance commander named Venterev. What? Why? The Archon wanted her knowledge of Remnant Tech. But why would Ven betray her? I don't know. That's why I kept it quiet. I'm working to capture him. Make him answer for what he did. You know where he is? Kadar report. My contacts are hunting him. Contacts? You can't trust anyone there. They deserted our cause, our people. And now they're ruled by exiles from your galaxy. Why are you hating Ven me? may know how to find the Archon and his ship. We can't leave this to a pack of renegades and outlaws. What's Kadar report? I'm a little new to the galaxy. Where did Ven go exactly? Kadara Port is a trading outpost. We abandoned it when the Ket invaded. Some of us went back. Deserters, scavengers. They don't support Aya. How did exiles from the Nexus wind up there? Bad luck for everyone. Alright, I'll go to Kadara. I need the relic that leads to Meridian, and I can handle my people. Let me do this. I don't like it. I don't care. The Pathfinder is right. I'll transmit my files on Kadara Port to your ship. Our traitor could have useful information. We need him alive. That's up to him. Be safe, Pathfinder. As for you, Ephra, we're not done. Alright, we're dipping out.
Director Tan, good news. The Angara opened an embassy for us on Aya. That is... a surprise? What are their expectations? Show them respect. They survived the Scourge and the Ket, and rebuilt their civilization. Don't forget it. Appeal to their pride. Sensible. I will gather envoys and send them to Aya. Thank you, Pathfinder. We'll take it from here. Alright guys. This is gonna be it for me. We now have a new lead on to the Archon ship. Gives us a new hope to establish a home here. See you around the galaxy. Peace.